What's up everyone, it's your boy NornRad89 here bringing you another Rad series review and today we're talking about the next incarnation of the Scooby-Doo television show and this one, not to be confused, this is Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo, but this is from 1980 to 1982. This is actually a version of the show that ran alongside with the Richie Rich show, so instead of having Full, it is 30 minute episodes, but instead of having one storyline throughout the episode, they actually shrunk the episodes down to seven minute shorts. And that's the season we're talking about now, which is technically now as it's classified as Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo season two. And like I said, when you watch a 30 minute episode, you're going to get three stories in one episode that are each like, you know, seven minutes and like 13, seven minutes and 20 seconds, something like that. And they also decided to ditch Velma. Fred and Daphne and they toss them aside and now it's just Shaggy, Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo. So this is this is where it takes a dip. Let's it's going to get rough. Let's talk about this. Roll it. So there's actually 33 episodes in this version of the Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo seasons. There's actually quite a bit of episodes, and like I said, these are all seven-minute shorts, ones that ran along with the Richie Rich show, and there was also another show that they ran along with as well was the Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo Puppy Hour. That was the other show, so that's where it was combined with, and these were just shorts. These were also on ABC, and man, like one key thing with these ones is like a thing is that they added in real villains they add in the whole fact of having supernatural villains and actually making it a realistic thing and to take velma to take fred and daphne out of that situation it freaking sucks because when you're adding in shaggy scooby-doo and scrappy-doo dealing with them and you're shrinking it down to seven minute shorts you're just relying on one-liners and slapsticky comedy it just it feels more like a Looney Tunes type show, and I've never felt like Scooby-Doo was that. Scooby-Doo, for me, always had mystery involved. There was themes, there was stories, there was villains, and there's reasons to the villains and stuff, and Fred, Velma, and, Shet, and Daphne, and Shaggy, they're actually pretty smart when you have the whole dynamic of the crew together, so when you take them out and you shrink down the episodes and you make it just Shaggy, Scooby, and Scrappy, it's a recipe for a disaster. And like I said, this one is just where the show really takes a just a dip. Like the all of that stuff, like I said, that recipe for disaster. Like my main negative is taking Velma, Daphne, and Fred out. Because with adding the fact that Shaggy and them are dealing with real villains now sometimes, not always, like pretty much before, it was always that somebody disguised as something and they had, you know, like crazy abilities you know what i mean or they had a cool costume or they had special effects and a bunch of engineering you know background so they can do all this crazy stuff but now they actually add in like wizards there's monsters there's an episode where scooby shaggy and scrappy take a potion and they get turned into donkeys like but it's just all done for slapsticky fun and when the episodes are seven minutes there's no room to build any atmosphere and by the time you get to the seven minutes, it's over. It's just, it's over. And then you're on to the next story. It means nothing. So this is, for me, just really awful. Like, I don't know who in their right mind was a producer back then in the 80s in 1979 or 1980 that was in that room with Hanna-Barbera and the rest of the people. And they were like, this sounds like a fucking genius idea. Let's put in real monsters take out all the dynamic and chemistry of the show and just make it like a Looney Tunes show. That's what people want now. They just want that stuff. And this would serve purpose now. I'm telling you right now, this show would be a genius idea for now because kids have a shortened attention span. With the modern era and our TikTok generation, what's going on now is this, this kind of cartoon would be perfect for now because it's seven minutes. It's just, it hits quick and it's over. But back then, I think you just, I want, I want atmosphere still. I want the buildup. I want the reveal. I want, like I said, Velma and Fred and Daphne dealing with real situations and supernatural stuff. You're talking about so many cool questions and scientific, you know, discussions and stuff where the show would have been way ahead of its time instead of, you know, something else. Like, you know, like it is kind of ahead of its time, but not in a good way. So as you can tell, I'm just very not high on this show at all. And like when you add this dynamic, Scrappy-Doo gets really annoying. It's that one thing where it's like it was cool for a season. 
it was cool for a season, but then as it goes on, it just gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. Like literally, this is this is me on the couch. Oh, but it's Scrappy Doo. I like this guy. He's kind of he's kind of spunky. Okay, Scrappy Doo, we get it. You're brave. You're bold. So yeah, I think just having Scrappy Doo for that first season, that spice that he brought to that one season was fine. And then you know just have him as a guest starring appearance every so often after that. You know what I mean? And Yabba Dabba Doo and all of them just have them as guest star appearances and stuff like that instead of doing what they did with this season and we you know uh, man it's just yeah not good at all so this is the one for me that like said and we're going to get into another season after this that is just as bad because they do some other atrocious ideas that somebody else came up with and they're like let's go full force with this and then yeah this it, it gets it gets awful so let's let's discuss that one so you got to be sure that you're liked subscribed to the channel and you have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime i post videos because we're going to be taking this journey we're still going this is only the fifth yeah this is only the fifth installment in the scooby-doo franchise and then we're going to be on to the sixth we got to get all the way to 14 yes there's 14 different incarnations of the show and yes velma Everybody's wondering out there. I know a lot of people are wondering out there. What did you think of Velma? What all this stuff? I did watch all of Velma. I watched every freaking episode, but you're going to have to be subscribed to the channel and wait to find out my thoughts on that one. And I'd probably say if there was any memorable episodes in this one, it's probably one where like Scooby, Shaggy and Scrappy end up actually in like Alice in Wonderland's world and they come across the, you know, the Red Queen and the Cheshire Cat that's a pretty funny episode and there's also an episode where they shaggy and scooby recall the birth of scrappy doo which is uh you get to see ruby doo which is scooby doo's sister his younger sister so that's a kind of a cool episode because i believe ruby doo only showed up twice i believe she's in she's in a pup named scooby doo she's in an episode of that show and she's also in an episode of this show so there is some fun kind of little Easter egg things about this season, but really this is, yeah, where the show takes a huge dip. And also, again, want to plug my birthday ranking. I really want to plug that because that's one that I'm diving into, I'm editing, and it's going to be a lot of work, and I really am, like want a lot of people to check this one out and come share their rankings as well. Said so it's going to be my top 34 favorite horror films of all time. What that means is just my list, and so when you see that video, be sure to comment down below your top, you know, favorite horror films of all time, because that's what's the best thing is that that list, that ranking, that's just unique to me. No one else's ranking is going to be like that because it's just my ranking. That's what's so cool about our rankings and stuff. And because I'm turning 34, I would love for you to drop by and say happy birthday and everything in the comments too. I much appreciate it. But most importantly, you know what's as always up. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.